If you're like me, you can be a bit of a perfectionist. You can kind of get caught in the details, and sometimes you see something that you thought you did a really good job on, you get back into the video, it turns out you got like a lot of artifacting, pixelation, and a lot of noise going on, and now you gotta redo the entire video. And so that's why today I'm gonna show you guys the three most important settings on pretty much any face cam you could be using that's not like a mirrorless or a DSLR camera, even though I think these are probably still gonna be pr pretty related to those. I'm gonna talk about those three settings, but first I wanna talk to you about something that is absolutely perfect, and it is these new sexy lower thirds that I got from the amazing Aerlia TV on Twitter. She's an amazing graphic designer. Did a fantastic job with these. And since I got them showing off anyway, I would like to remind you that I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Go check us out over there. We have a great time streaming, having a blast, playing video games. And we've spent a lot of time lately just chatting, which has been really, really cool. And you guys have been asking a lot of really cool questions. I'm collecting a lot of those questions so I can do a video later on most asked questions about streaming and getting started. But today, today I'm going to finish all this other stuff that I got going on in my lower third, like uh, Twitter. Be sure to follow me over there. Instagram, follow me over there. I've got really cute cats. I also have a Discord I never talk about. Links to all this are in the description down below, including Twitch. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you learn a little bit of something you have a good time. And uh, maybe hit that bell, become part of my notification crew. I, that would be really awesome. I would love to have a notification crew. And now we can talk about what's going on today. Camera quality. Camera quality is something that I took way too long to learn about because I didn't have the resources or the awesome YouTubers like Harris Heller at Alpha Gaming or anyone else to really point me in the right direction. By the way, Harris Heller, amazing guy. Alpha Gaming, amazing YouTube channel. Go check them out. It's really, really cool. I've learned a lot over there and I'm passing some of that knowledge on to you guys as well. Some of my own personal stuff that I've discovered along the way. And today we're gonna talk about those three settings on the camera and the reason I wanted to talk about this I was doing a video and I actually like reshot the video completely after I'd gotten like my new lights up and I put my room together and then I also started fiddling with stuff and I realized I'm gonna put them side by side here you can just notice the insane improvement in camera quality looking at these two uh, footages side by side from the same camera in the exact same position nothing different but the quality is so much better and it's like if I'd have known this early on I, I would have saved me I just saved so much headache I hated the way my face cam looked for the longest freaking time and I'm gonna try and avoid talking about lighting in this because I think that's a whole video on its own and there's a lot to talk about there I'm gonna make it short sweet and to the point I'm gonna tell you the three settings that you guys need to worry about and they're all in OBS when you hook up I'm using a Logitech uh, C920 uh, whatever you might be using these should all exist if these don't exist honestly I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna keep put, let you in on a little secret I honestly just if you're starting out streaming you really can't beat the Logitech C920 I said it there like there's really nothing you can do that beats it like like it's not the best software in the world but when you plug it in you plug and play with OBS it just goes you don't have to do anything special these settings are all in there I highly recommend it uh, Logitech C920 it's been the king of face cams for a while for a reason what we're gonna do I'm gonna take you guys I'm gonna show you these settings really quick and it really just comes down to you guys playing with it uh, I I'm not even kidding it really just comes down to you guys playing with it uh, when you get whoo uh, yes, the, the tunnel of infinite OBS screens. Uh, but uh, you can play around with these settings and just see what looks best to you. And then uh, just keep tweaking as you go on. So you want to go to properties, go to your sources, uh, find your... That's desktop capture. I clicked on desktop capture, <laughs> didn't I? Go to properties, and uh, it's going to show you. It's going to pop up your face cam. And you want to go to configure video right here. And the three settings you're going to worry about are gain on your first tab. And on camera control, you want a mess with exposure and then your other one is white balance back here so white balance and gain in your first tab and then exposure over here now when you first plug in your webcam and every time you restart your computer these reset to defaults it's really freaking annoying i told you logitech does not have the best software but these are going to be all auto this is going to be auto too so i just clicked auto and look at that look what it did to my face cam you can see it right up there if i turn it off it dims it a little bit but when i turn it on Okay, it looks like it stabilized itself out, but this is going to be on. So you want to turn that off. Turn off auto focus. I hate autofocus being on, so I, I turn that off. You do what you want. And then white balance will also be automated. So you want to turn that off too. You cannot move this gain slider until you have exposure 
uh, off of auto. I didn't actually know that, and it kind of freaked me out because I thought I'd broken something at one point. So, so the exposure is going to be set somewhere. You want to get it. Usually, it's set like this for me. So you want to take it down a little bit. You want to lessen your exposure. You want to lessen the amount of light that's going in there. And you're going to come back here, and this is when you get to play with your gain. Uh, usually, my gain's up like this when it defaults, and uh, I want it to not be like that. I want it to actually. I don't want it to be too dark either. This is a little bit too dark, and I kind of. I was kind of doing this for a while. Until I realized it kind of looked like I was streaming out of a cave. I didn't have my lights in the back, but even now with the lights, I think um, they look kind of like, you know, they kind of look northern lighty right now, which is kind of pretty, but you don't really see me, and I want me to stand out. So I want to bring this up a little bit until I want to avoid my face being shiny or anything being oversaturated and too much noise coming through. So right about there. And then I want to start playing with the white balance. With the white balance, what you want to do, see how this looks kind of dull, a little bit blue. A little bit, a little bit bleh. You want to avoid that, but you also want to avoid uh, looking like uh, I don't know a, a Donald Trump type with with really orange skin. You want to get it to where you have just enough skin color. It looks like you haven't been hiding from the sun for the entire year. So right about there. So play with these. You're gonna play with these settings all on your own. You're gonna come up with the best thing for yourself and and find out what works for you. But those are the three settings that you want to mess with: exposure, gain, and white balance greatly improve your face cam quality. I'm going to show you those two footages again side by side. Just look at the difference, how much better it is. There's really um, no substitute when it comes to uh, quality and getting it for cheap. You don't have to get a fancy mirrorless camera or a DSL camera. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars. You don't have to do anything. It's a $50 camera and I'm getting really good quality footage. My only complaint with this camera is that it's only 30 frames per second speed. So I can kind of get things blurry. And if you have like your exposure turned up, things get blurrier and blurrier the more exposure you have. So that, that's my one complaint. But that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Just something, a real quick uh, tutorial, a real quick just example of, of how you guys can improve your face cam quality without spending money, without really spending any money, we, like except for lighting. But we'll talk about lighting in another video coming up. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always ask in the comment section down below. Also, again, I, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You guys can always go join me over there and ask me questions. I love, I love talking about that stuff. And you guys have been asking a lot of really cool questions. We've been spending a lot of time talking in streams, and I've absolutely loved it. So, guys, you join the community over there. I, I would love to see you guys there. I'd love to hang out with you there. I also have Twitter, uh, Discord, Instagram, all that stuff I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Links are in the description down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took something from it. It was a real quick, simple tutorial, something you can do in OBS. It's already there. You don't have to add any plugins. Uh, and I just, I'm floored with the difference that I've noticed in my camera quality. So I hope you guys liked it. I love your faces. Remember to subscribe, like the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.